Greetings to you. Bishop Vetter here. I'm your bishop still. Just wanted to come and talk to you about divine mercy. I want to talk about the devotion to the divine mercy. Uh, so, in 1905, St. Faustina, uh, who was then Sister Faustina, was in a convent, and she started having Jesus appear to her. Uh, and she actually wrote a diary about the whole experience, and you can actually get the diary of St. Faustina. Um, quite amazing. She's in this little town of Poland, and uh, one of the things that Jesus, when he appeared to her, asked her to do was to have commissioned that image of Jesus uh, that you see right there. And actually, that's the closest replica, that one right there, uh, of how he actually appeared to her. And you'll notice there are two rays coming out of his chest, where he's opening up his, his vestment there a little bit, his, his cloak, uh, red and white. Uh, the red stream is for his blood, and the white is for baptism, for water, the sacrament of the Eucharist and baptism, the way in which we really, uh, and confession comes from that, huh, because we need we need to be cleansed again after baptism, we go to confession. Uh, but that image, that divine mercy, that's how he wanted to be known and loved, that Jesus is divine mercy himself in his very person. Right? He came to show mercy, and the world is in such need of experiencing his mercy. It's almost too good to be true. That's why he had to come and try to convince us again right? that his mercy endures forever. We think that our sins are so great, that we could exhaust his mercy. That's nothing. You think of the worst sin in the world compared to his divine mercy, it's like a drop of water thinking it can cool down the hottest furnace in the world. It would evaporate that water drop before it even hit the furnace, right? His divine mercy is a fire, a furnace of love uh, and care for us. And he asked her uh, to put on the bottom and to pray often, Jesus, I trust in you. And that's why it's always on the bottom of those images. And then she, he also taught her a prayer. And actually, you can click on the link on this screen here. It must be on there somewhere. You can click on it, and it'll show you step-by-step uh, step how, how to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And you actually pray it right on a rosary, right? Right on a rosary where you count along. And it takes literally five minutes uh, to pray it. So give it a try if you have not. It's a beautiful devotion. Uh, just to convince our hearts, our minds, our, our whole selves that His divine mercy endures forever. Uh, and we are in such need, always, of His mercy and love. God bless you.